I'm Laura from Garden Sanity, and if your limelight hydrangea tree droops after it rains, here's what to do. First, don't panic. I know, you come outside, it looks ugly. Been there, done that. In fact, I'll link above, and I'll also link below. I have an entire limelight hydrangea tree series of videos. Since last August, in fact, we had a tropical storm. It broke a good part of this tree off. Then I pruned it in the springtime. I gave it a hard pruning, walked you through how to do that. Then I showed you how it looked in the springtime with all the growth coming back. And then just recently, about a week ago, I did a before and after it rains video. So you could see just how much water each of the hydrangea blossoms holds after it rains. So now, here we are. I've gotten a few questions from some of you saying, we just had a rain, some of my flowers are drooping to the ground, what do I do? Okay, so I admit I didn't film this, but we had a thunderstorm that was about to approach last week and a lot of our flowers, in fact, in the previous video, I mentioned that some of the growth that was down here, I was thinking of actually cutting. I came out here, ran out here, and did it super quick before the storm, and I'm so glad I did. So, what I wanted to talk to you about is what I did and what you can do. Now, you probably see all these cuts. This is exactly a bunch of what I cut off last week. And why I did that is because the stem wasn't here. It was actually a little lower. And every one of these stems was drooping way down. So, now it's nice, it's sturdy. Now let's look at this, for example. This is a small flower head, and I'm not worried about that it's actually going to do anything bad to the tree. But I wanted to just remind you, this is what happens to the stems as they're growing. When they're this thin, they're gonna start flopping with the weight of the flower, even if there's no rain on it. Now, I'll show you what did happen to our lovely tree. So what did happen last week was this and it was like this before there was a little branch hanging off of it it was like this before I came out and did the pruning so I'm what I'm gonna have to do is prune from here but I'm not doing that until maybe the fall I'll see how much it heals up if not next spring so I just wanted to show you yes this is what can happen So here I am about to film this video, and I wanted to show you what we came out to this morning. Is this little guy. Mm-hmm. I think he was one of the bunnies that just started his life in our other garden bed. Do I give him a name? Yeah, the name is Get Out. So I'm gonna use this hydrangea flower head as an example of what to do. It's not really drooping, but let's pretend it's drooping way down. This is what can happen. So what a few of you have asked is, where do I cut? Anywhere you cut is gonna make the stem bounce back up. So what I'm gonna do is if you see, just like when you're pruning in the spring, there's different nodes. Now, it is 847 degrees out right now, and it is soup humidity. So when it's this hot, like it was last week, I just came out and cut. So you don't have to be that worried about where you make your cuts. That being said, I'm gonna cut it right here, and I want you to see what happens, okay? So I'm gonna cut it, and now just to remind you, here's where it's hanging. Now I'm gonna cut it, and I want you to watch what happens to the stem. Here we go. Ready? You see what happens to the stem? Here it is. That's how much these flowers hold down the stems. It was about here, and now it's up there. And you can see, these are some other ones that I had cut last week. So that's really all you have to do. Now, I get it. These are beautiful. What are you gonna do? Put them in a vase. One caution about putting them in a vase, watch this. You see all these white things? <laughs> a lot of that's the pollen. So be careful before you bring it inside. Just a little tip because you get this all over your house, not gonna be happy. 
Okay, now let me just take a step back and show you what the tree looked like and we're done. So here's what the tree looks like today and this is mid-August. We just had another rainstorm and that's when a few of you wrote to me and said, what do I do? So here's what the tree looks like now and I'm gonna put up a before picture of what it looked like just a week ago. And yeah, it looks a little bit different, but you have to do what you have to do. The main thing to keep in mind is when you're cutting these off, as disappointing as it is, you're helping the tree. Because if you keep them on just because you think it looks better, the branches are actually gonna eventually weigh down so low that they're gonna break. So it's a necessary evil. My best tip is to do what I did that you didn't see on camera. And let me go in closer so I can show you. So here's my best tip that I can tell you is to start low. Start at the base of your limelight hydrangea tree and trim from there. Don't start out at the top. Don't start out where you see something flopping immediately. Start at the bottom. That really helps. So you can see I did a bunch. I did this one. You know, I did this one. Now you're saying, well, geez, these are up pretty high these two stems that I did here and here. But this stem was <laughs> down here. I'm not kidding you. They were pretty low. I did these guys here. All of these were drooping. Pardon me. All of these, I'm saying pardon to you, the viewer. <laughs> All of these were so low and they bounced back up right away. So what you do see, let me go up a little bit. What you do see is you see a little bit of a hole here. And that's just because, like I said, these branches drooped. It is what it is. What you also see, and hopefully you see this on yours too, is the top branches are very sturdy and they are doing good. In fact, these right here still have the lime color on their newer, which is nice. You also see, let's see, look at that guy, a little sleepy bee. Love those guys, it's early morning. Now I'm showing you two over here. This is where we started and I showed you I had a lot of cuts. So this was a very thick stem. This guy, also, although he was very thick, he also was drooping quite a bit because of the flower head. Now, what I do want to point out to you guys is how thick and how fast these stems grow. This stem that I'm holding on here right here, this was a new stem this year and it is already pretty darn thick, which is great. You also have this stem, not as thick. And then this one I showed you before is very thin. And because the flower head is smaller, even though it droops, it's still okay. It's not gonna cause any long-term damage. I also trimmed some over here as well. So I hope the main point you're taking away from this is I trimmed the bottom of the tree. Here is what the tree looks like today. And here is what it looked like a week ago. Yes, it's very different, but I saved the tree from worse damage. And that's what you're gonna have to do. If you end up with mostly your blooms at the top, that's okay. What will happen, because it's only mid-August, do you see right there, See that little bud? He's gonna sprout some new leaves right there. And before you know it, you're gonna have new growth covering everywhere you made your cuts. Trust me on this. And you may, like I did last year when this happened, I actually got a few flowers, a few new flowers. They were small, but they began to fill in. Look at this beautiful guy. Let me just see if I can get closer. He's got some pink on him, but he still has some lime. Really pretty. So far, so good. But do you see what's right underneath him? Right here, another stem I cut. That stem was really drooping. Remember, the goal is to preserve the tree. I know you wanna preserve the flowers, but you gotta preserve the tree. And if you don't cut at least the bottom off, the heaviest parts, then they may end up breaking into a branch, a larger stem, which is what I showed you earlier that I am gonna have to cut out at some point. So I hope this helps. Leave your questions in the comments below 
and I will definitely try to help you out. I know this is an ongoing thing. Remember, we're all in this together. Don't panic. We can get through this. And if Mother Nature is listening and wants to, I don't know, help us out a little bit, that'd be nice too. <laughs> Until next time, happy gardening.